morning guys, Marco here, and um, I got a review of a couple of things actually. The Nike CTR 360, the Nike Free Run Plus running shoes, the Nike Mercurial Light shin pads, and an Adidas Real Madrid Windbreaker jacket for you guys today. Um, I bought these things over the time, uh, like over a course of a couple months, not like just one package from Pro Direct or something. Now, so, um, yeah, I've gotten some time. The reason I didn't put out like unboxings or unboxings or anything was just I don't know, I didn't feel the need for it. I decided to actually wear them for a couple of weeks, all the things, and um, you know, make a proper review for you guys. Um, so to start off with, we're gonna start with the Nike CTR three sixty Maestri Soccer Cleats. Firm ground. Um, they got the Kangol light -like dampening pads, really nice boot, all, overall very comfortable, like, that's probably my favorite thing about it. Um, it's extremely comfortable, like, there was no blisters, no nothing. Um, there's a very nice feel with the ball, I guess that's what the Kangol light's -like there for. Then, um, it's fairly waterproof, I wore it yesterday to, um, at a really rainy practice, well, welcome to Vancouver, and, um, yeah, these held up pretty well. After, but like after, but an hour of just pouring, it started building up in the in the cleat, and the cleat became really heavy. Um, my biggest concern, which isn't that big, I mean, once you start playing, actually, you don't really notice it, is the insole. I think that's what we call it. Is very grippy. It's very grippy. You can't really move your toes around, and that gets pretty frustrating. But once you start playing. It's totally fine. I mean, you don't really notice. Um, the cleats, the CTRs, look very nice. Um, this isn't exactly the nicest uh, colorway. It's okay. Uh, I don't really like the black. I like the new white and red ones more. Um, but yeah, I got these on sale at a Las Vegas outlet um, for a hundred dollars when I went for a soccer tournament. So you know, for that price, it was a steal, I guess. My is my first CTR boots because I'm a material. Yeah, that wears them more. And um, yeah, so it's a very nice feel, very accurate boot. Overall, really nice. It's just that insole, and um, I don't know, the boot feels a bit rubbery, which I guess they did on purpose, but at the same time, it just doesn't feel like a boot. It feels like a regular boot when it's raining, you know? That's, that's a, you know, it's okay though. So these are great cleats. I totally recommend them, especially the newer ones. The newer ones, I have not gotten a chance to try elites, but um, these are really good, and especially for the price, for $100, they're nice and light. I mean, not as light as the materials, but not as heavy as like T90s. So I actually totally recommend these, especially for like a center midfield, these boots are the boot for you. Okay, so let's move on to the next item. The Nike Mercurial Light shin pads. I bought these a week and a half, two weeks ago, um, because my old ones they were they had the Velcro strap, the Velcro straps around them, and that got really annoying because sometimes you pull up your um, your socks and it just the Velcro gets on your skin and it hurts the whole practice, and that was just not fun. And I know everybody we see on my team has these. And I love materials, and they're really light, so <laughs> this was just the one that I went for immediately. Um, so, first of all, they look great. I really like the design. You know, I heard there was another colorway, which I think I'd rather have gotten because this is kind of weird. But at the same time, it looks really nice. You know, the typical material, large stripe material with the instep design of the um, the. Vapor 6s and Superfly 2s. So, um, yeah, so that's the first thing. They look great. Um, they're very light, like, really light. Very noticeable for my older ones. Um, they're very popular, as you know. Everybody, like, most people that I know, they have this, or they have, like, a really random that think the shin pads that nobody knows. Um, the price is pretty decent. I mean, I don't even remember how much my older ones were because I got them from a long time ago. These I got for 30 bucks at my local soccer store, so I think that's a pretty decent price. I don't know about shin pads too much, but yeah, that was pretty good. 
Now the negatives is um, it comes with these sleeves. Here, let me turn it inside. It comes with these sleeves, you know, so that when you put them onto your leg and then you put the shin pad on to keep them from slipping. Quite frankly, these are absolutely useless. They do nothing. They just are annoying because once you pull up the sock, the, the sleeve goes with the, with the sock all the way up. So it's really useless. Um, so what I have to do basically is I use, you have to buy tape from a soccer store. Oh, I bought mine from a soccer store. They got nice. Or one of those straps to put at the bottom of the shin pad just to keep it from slipping. Yeah, the sleeves are, they really don't do anything. And uh, yeah, so that's about it for the, the shin pads. I recommend them, but you know, expect to like spend 10, five minutes before in your setup, five minutes in your game setup having to tape and then after having to take it off. So, you know, that's not that big of a problem for really nice shin pads. So the next item are the Nike The Nike Free Run Plus running shoes. I bought these actually over the winter and um, I've gotten a chance to wear them quite a lot now. And these are great shoes. Um, they're really light very light um they're really comfortable like as soon as you put them on it just feels like they're one with your foot it's a really nice shoe um you feel barefooted which was the idea nike's main uh, like the whole point of this boot this boot shoe was um to feel like you're barefooted so this is for those long distance runners running you know on the beach or something like that um, I didn't know that because I actually bought this for a uh, agility and speed training camp indoors. So uh, yeah, I probably should have went for some other ones that are made for traction and stuff like that. Um, they look really nice. This colorway is also, I really like it. The gray and the green with the design. The one thing I don't like about it is the shoe. It's nice, nice, nice. And then it gets really wide, really wide. I don't know why. I'm sure there must be a good reason, but I'm not too big of a fan of that because you look really weird with that. Um, they're very easy to put on, like even if it's tied, you can basically slip them on, but not that they're too big, they'll fit you perfectly. It's just really, it's a really nice shoe. They're not very good for short sprints or, you know, like cuts and turns, like for soccer. They're more for, as I said, the long distance running and just not wanting to have any problems with the shoe and just feeling basically barefooted and very light as if they're not there that's the main idea so that if you run for a while you don't get blisters or you just don't get annoyed from them or they're not dragging you down i got these for i think around 130 dollars which is fairly expensive but I really like these shoes. These were my first like good, good running shoes. Like before this, I had some Under Armour ones that, you know, they're like kid size. So yeah, these are really nice. Um, they come with the Nike Plus technology integration. So you could set this up on your iPod, iPod. And um, yeah, it tracks how much steps you've taken, your average speed. It's just a really cool thing, but you have to buy the Nike Plus thing separately for $20, I think but the shoe is compatible with it. So these are great, I totally recommend them. Maybe not for what I did, like speed like you know, speed camps, uh, but if you just wanna like every morning go out 45 minutes, do a run, just to stay, you know, good conditioning, endurance, these are great shoes. Okay, on to the last item that I most recently bought. Uh, the Real Madrid if you can see the logo right there. The Real Madrid Windbreaker slash rain jacket. It's a very nice jacket. It looks amazing. I really like it because it's really simple. But then it's got this side right here that's, you know, it's got the logo. It's got the electric green, Adidas. And right now, Real Madrid's all about this electric green. Like, they just put a bit of it everywhere. and It's, it's nice. So uh, this jacket's really light. It looks great. Um, it's my favorite team, uh, Real Madrid, who's going to destroy Barcelona four times. Um, it's very light. It's fairly waterproof. You know, it's like 
Um, you can't expect it to hold out everything, especially yesterday on my pouring practice. But it held up much better than any other rain jacket I've used. And it's it's a fairly good windbreaker, like it stopped the wind. Um, the downside though is, and the only downside, is it's fairly expensive. I don't know how much it was, it was like a hundred bucks. Um, I got 25% off, but anyway, I mean, hundred dollars. I think most of that just comes down to it being Real Madrid or like a, a professional soccer team. I think that's the main reason it's expensive. But yeah, that's all I gotta say about it. It's really awesome, and I can't wait to keep on wearing it. It's still a bit big, but that's okay. So those are my items that uh, I wanted to talk about, and I hope you enjoyed. And uh, make sure to subscribe and check out our other videos because um, me and Stefan were really working hard to make this channel what it deserves to be. Um, we're gonna keep out as soon as that ends. Keep on making we'll be back videos. videos. And um, right, thanks, guys. Yes, uh, expect I'll a free kick video, like a a big one, very soon from us. We just, you know, it's raining still in Vancouver, so.